Okay, we are the mass withers and we're gonna start our work. Uh, um, we're gonna start our work so that we can tell you a presentation how we work in Eisenhower Middle School. We're going to tell you about how to, how to work with decimals. I'm going to tell you how to do how to do decimals addition. The most important thing that you have to do is line up your decimals. So here's an example. Like I said, the, the most important thing that you do is you have to line up your decimals, so. You fill in these blanks with zeros, and then you add. That's your answer. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, um, multiply decimals. You don't really need to fill in the spaces with zeros. All you do is the same for addition. You put um, order your decimals. For example, Now, 4 times 3 is 12. And now that I lined it up and did the problem, I need to count how many numbers was behind each decimal from the first number to the bottom number. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's two numbers, so I would need three more zeros. 1, 2, 3, and then put the decimal. And that's how you multiply with decimals. <coughs> now we're both going to show you how to do division in decimals. Like in addition, it's really important to line up the decimals. So if the decimal is right here, and the answer, the decimal is right here also. Now you would still do the same, only just doing the same. Like you would multiply, you would move the decimal in between the one and the eight. So that now you would take out the decimal Put the decimal in the middle. And then you would solve it. Well, in the two, you would move it to here. That way, you would need you wouldn't need to struggle. Now you would have to solve it. Okay, so the answer to this is 0.9, which equals 18. And then that would be zero, so there's nothing. Thanks for watching the Math Wizards. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. <laughs>